We have another example for body condition score. We've already gotten an overview of this horse, whether he's on the lower third, middle third, or the top third. We're going to look for whether this horse is similar or has more angularity or more roundness, which will give him a different body condition score of the middle part of the thigh. For a run on hands over the withers, you should notice the withers areas are more pronounced. That's true with thoroughbreds. You need to account for that, but the fat thickness is less than what we want for a body condition score five. The ribs, although he's dirty and a little hairy at this time of the year, they could be they are easily seen, and when you run your hand over, they're easily felt as well as visual. Again, putting it below a body condition score of five. The fat pad behind the shoulder area, not as fat's not as pronounced, not much spring. You can see the angularity with the horse over the the hip area, in particular around the point of hip, we can see how he drops off. Horses in a five area have a bit of a bloom and then a drop off. Horses less would be more angular. You can see the ridge along his hip area. The tail head is more pronounced. That presence is less than what we want in a true body score of five. Of course, there's much more pronunciation at the point of buttocks as well. If you take a shot from his hindquarter, you will see that there is a slope, a drop off, a ridge, again, and you'll see a ridge. In horses that are thin, I use the expression inverted crease or a ridge, that's another expression. When a horse is in a body condition score five, the back will be flat, and when they become fleshy, and the degree of fleshy, they'll become more pronounced and take more of a heart shape, particularly in, in the obese area. But this horse, with the angularity that he has, the fatness that we've palpated, is a true body condition score of a